Assalamu alaikum and good evening to all the TVM viewers. Hope you all had a wonderful day and now seated to watch our program. Warm welcome to Maldives Travel Awards Countdown Show. Well, this is the second show and in this program we will be featuring the conference host Bandus Maldives. Well, this is one of the most earliest resorts built during 1972 on 10th December. And of course, this resort is very close by to the capital and also to the airport. So it's a beautiful destination, not only for the tourists, also for the locals. Maldives Travel Awards, of course, the awards initiated by Matato and it's been running for five years. And this time, the event is hosted by, I think, one of the renowned event organizers in town. So I'm sure the viewers look forward for the conference on 19th November and also on 20th, the grand finale, of course, the gala event. And Matato Travel Awards, of course, the tourism industry evades this awards because it's one of the most prestigious events that is held in the Maldives for the tourism sector. And in Bandos, yeah, of course, this is the conference host because they have a huge conference hall where 150 to 300 people can be accommodated at the same time. And of course, they offer good food here. So the conference uh, organizers and also the participants do enjoy the conference in here, Bandos. Well, I'll see you in another location in Bandos soon. Bandos Maldives is situated 15 scenic minutes away by speedboat from Mali International Airport in North Mali Atoll. This four-star resort is the place to go to when traveling with family or if you are looking for an ideal setting to explore the underwater wonders of the Maldives. With a total of 215 room categories, you can find the room type you need to suit your vacation needs. This includes classic rooms, standard rooms, deluxe rooms, garden villas, jacuzzi beach villas, jacuzzi pool villa and water villas. For families, the deluxe rooms are appealing for their spaciousness, but the garden villa is ideal if you plan to spend your holiday by the swimming pool, which also has a kids pool and a swim-up bar. Bandus housekeeping team ensure a very safe, clean and comfortable environment for the guests and associates on the island. Room attendants within the housekeeping team work to clean and service the occupied guest rooms and prepare vacated guest rooms for daily arrivals. Laundry supports the entire operation by providing clean and fresh linen daily in a timely manner. It also handles the washing and pressing of all associate uniforms. 
our main target is actually to provide the guests or to provide the people who comes here a healthier safety environment and we have to make sure that their stay is really pleasant here or we try to show them the island of hospitality as that's our theme how the laundry operation works is like we start normally at morning 7:30 and the linens will be starting to we will start to receive the linens from the departure rooms on also normally every two days we used to remove or change the linens bed linens and other linens in the room so basically all the linens will be starting to come to the laundry around seven uh, eight o'clock or nine o'clock so with that also we will be having our staff linen also so we have to take care of the staff linen also here uh, as part of the morning shift what we do here is normally the linens we re we receive here we will wash them we will dry them as you can see here the dryers uh, we will work until 8.30 like this. The linens will be washed, dried, pressed and sent to store. And the thing is from the stores, our room boys will take them and then they will go to the room side and they will prepare the rooms. The old linens comes back to here and the same routine goes on and on and on again. And it's a very busy schedule and I would say the laundry attendants and the room attendants are the unsung heroes of the resorts, I would say. Bandas Convention Center offers sophisticated conference facilities to a global audience. The facility provides versatile space accommodating up to 350 guests for large conferences. All meeting rooms are fully equipped to meet all your requirements and come complete with comprehensive technical support. We can take care of everything from transportation to catering and even supply Moldovan cultural entertainment, ensuring your meeting is productive and memorable. Mice Market is one of the major markets uh, to Banda Small Leaves. And uh, I'm sure like him, that there will, um, after this conference there will be uh, uh, some recommendations from our industry partners and colleagues. And also we have seen a growth of uh, conferences and meeting compared to last year since uh, we are the uh, leading uh, conference meeting and conference resort in Maldives. So um, we have seen a growth this year, around 20% growth this year compared to last year. So we have no doubt that I mean, this will get us like, I mean, the, uh, some international exposure through this conference. Uh, MICE is a very profitable uh, source of business for resorts like Banos Maldives and uh, one of the reasons is it generates extra revenue to other departments like FNB, uh, um, transport, um, recreation. This is in addition to the accommodation and also it, it helps to maintain uh, high occupancy during uh, low occupancy periods. And um, these are some of the benefits of uh, mice market. Well, th there are a few, ch few challenges um, when uh, catering for mice market. One of the challenges uh, to cater these uh, large groups, um, to accommodate these large groups, we don't have that much of inventory. Uh, especially uh, these groups, they would want inventory uh, from same room type. For example, a group who wants to have all the rooms in standard room category. That, will, that is a very big challenge for us. And also, um, in terms of um, catering them in the restaurants or other outlets to accommodate those groups at, at one time, that is also a big challenge. And uh, other than that, uh, if we talk about um, the uh, room division side, for example, housekeeping, they have to um, do the check-in and check-out at the same time for these groups. These, these are a few challenges we have uh, when catering for these big groups. It, there are other challenges. For example, most of the resorts, we cater for leisure customers plus honeymoon couples and also families. It is a very big challenge to mix these groups with all the other market segments. Uh, so we have to plan in very much in advance in order to cater these groups.
Feel free to drop your children off at the Coco Club, where our qualified childminders will look after your little ones while you relax and unwind at the Orchid Spa or catch some sun on the beach. Immerse yourself in the wonders of the fascinating underwater world around us. Snorkel at our house reef, which is just 40 to 60 meters away from the beach, or scuba dive with internationally certified courses available at dive bundles. Here we organize uh, scuba diving trips to certified divers. Also, um, we are a paddy uh, five star uh, dive center, so we teach uh, paddy courses um, to. Uh, all the uh, guests who would like to obtain a PADI certification and also uh, guests who would like to uh, try a dive for the very first time. We also provide a very uh, nice program called Discover Scuba Diving and also we uh, rent uh, snorkeling equipment. Uh, guests who would like to go and enjoy uh, snorkeling, we, they can come here and uh, rent snorkeling equipment. Also re recently we introduced uh, free diving here, um, people who would like to try and uh, experience or enjoy uh, a free diving lesson or obtain a free diving certification, uh, that possibility is there now uh, since from February onwards. And also um, for snorkeling uh, we also rent uh, life jackets for uh, customers who would like to go snorkeling. Also we um, give snorkeling lessons for uh, beginners who would like to uh, enjoy uh, uh, underwater beauty. Uh, it was a great pleasure to win Matato uh, Maldives uh, Leading Dive Resort Award. And this year we very much to uh, retain the award again. Um, to maintain, we have uh, actually introduced uh, free diving also uh, as a new product and uh, we are trying to introduce technical diving. Uh, to do that, we have uh, implemented a raid here. We brought a raid uh, in February and we are working on uh, with raid to uh, implement a rebreather and also um, side mount. So uh, very soon we will have uh, these two products and also um, uh, free diving is one of the um, recent uh, activity that we introduce. We get a lot of support uh, from the customers. Also we introduce to, uh, this to the local communities. We have a program together with uh, free dive Maldives uh, for locals who would like to come and uh, do a free diving course. This program takes about four days. I think uh, Matato Travel Awards are uh, doing uh, really well. In fact, uh, Matato has introduced uh, new categories to the awards uh, this year. And um, of course, like, I mean, the competitions are increasing. Uh, but I'm really confident that uh, this year also, we can win uh, some of the awards as we are competing uh, among uh, leading meeting and conference resort, leading uh, family resort, leading dive, and also uh, leading uh, local hotel resort brands. So I'm confident we can at least win uh, some of the awards this year. And as for the since we are hosting uh, this year's uh, Maldives Travel Conference. So I assure all industry colleagues and partners, so well, we will do our best to make it a successful conference.
Well, viewers, I know you're watching this in the evening, but for me and my crew, when we shoot this program, it's a beautiful sunny day in Bandus Island Resort, of course, the sunny side of life. We had beautiful weather. And look at this serene place inside for the tourists and their families, their husbands, wives, of course, to come and relax in this serene place. It's a beautiful park. Actually, when I came in, I couldn't believe that they had such a beautiful park in here. Well, let's move on to the judges of the Maldives Travel Awards. Every year, the jury, of course, the judges panel, they do long hours of work getting to the gala night, of course, getting to the awards. So I'm sure that's one of the most important people for Maldives Travel Awards, Matato, and of course, the host, Think. So let's talk about the judges. With a panel of nine established individuals hailing from an array of expert areas, the preliminary round of judging for the Maldives Travel Awards began on the 3rd of October. The week-long process shortlisted three nominees for each of the 35 different categories. Presentation sessions were held until the 9th of October at Hotel Gen by Shangri-La, the official city hotel partner for this year's event. The second phase of the judging process is currently underway with the panel visiting the shortlisted properties for on-site evaluation. These make up 70% of the total marks and will be added to the 30% which makes up the online and SMS voting components. Online and SMS voting was open for the public on the 18th of September and will remain open until 15th November, just before the official award ceremony. The Maldives Travel Awards by Matato recognizes the best in hotels and guest houses, liverboards, diving, water sports and transportation and technology. The 2016 edition will also include new categories to recognize leading travel website, leading guest house island, leading innovation in guest house design, leading F&B outlet and leading airport lounge. Meet the devoted judges of Maldives Travel Awards 2016, Dr. Mariam Vasima. Dr. Vasima has worked previously in the state trading organization and as a member of the Board of Directors for the Maldives Sports Corporation as well as a consultant for Maldives Gateways, a PR and marketing company prominent in the Maldives. She had her thesis based on enhancing the destination image and competitiveness of the Maldives for a sustainable tourism industry. She has taken an active role projects such as the study on Maldives domestic tourism carried out by the Ministry of Tourism to understand and measure the current status and potential of domestic tourism in the Maldives for the sustainable development of the sector. Dr. Wasima is a highly skilled professional in the industry of tourism and her leadership qualities combined with her intellect and experience in the field will bring an additional quality for this year's awards. Ms. Aisha Chani Amnit Chani has had a passion for the culinary field from a very young age. She travelled around the world from a young age basking in the knowledge of professionals through her educational ventures in Sri Lanka, Australia and the United States of America. She has a degree in culinary management from the William Anglis Institute in Melbourne, Australia. She has more than 14 years of experience in the culinary industry, having previously working in resorts of repute such as Bandos Maldives and Conrad Maldives as well as other various extravagant hotels and resorts in the Maldives and Australia. She currently works at the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Studies of the National University of the Maldives. Having mentored several young stars of the culinary industry, today she has been recently elected as an ex-com member of the Chefs Guild Maldives. Mr. Mohammed Shinaz. Mr. Shinaz has over 15 years of experience in the culinary and hospitality industry, having worked at Conrad Rangali Resort and the region Seven Seas Cruise, where he worked as sous chef pastry. His educational background consists of a diploma from the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Studies, and he's also a graduate from William Angus Institute of Taufe, Australia. Mr. Shinaz is a committed professional in his field. He also works as a part-time lecturer of the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Studies. Mr. Ibrahim Mahdi. Mr. Mahdi is an industry expert and spearheads the Maldives Promotional House Limited. He previously worked for the Anantara Hotel Resorts and Spa as well as the Paradise Holidays Private Limited. Mr. Mahudi is a graduate of the respected Sunway University of Malaysia and is a highly respected figure in the industry for his work, his experience and vast knowledge of the industry. Ms. Zinas Hussain 
Ms. Zina Hussain is the Dean of the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Studies, FHTS of the Maldives National University, MNU. Ms. Zina has earned her Master of Arts in Human Resource Management from the University of Westminster, UK and completed her BA Honours in European Culinary Arts Management from the IMI in Switzerland. She underwent industrial training at Kurumba village and also worked at Paradise Island Resort later joining the FHTS in the year 1997. She has fulfilled a number of positions at the faculty including her current role as the Dean of the Faculty. She considers the Matato Travel Awards to be an important step in recognizing the strides made forward by the Maldivian tourism industry. Mr. Mohammad Arif Arif spent nearly a decade working in the aviation industry, specializing in marketing and development. His last position in the aviation industry was as the head of sales and marketing at Ittihad Airways Maldives. With numerous years of professional experience in the hospitality industry as an aviation expert, he started working towards broadening his career into travel and media. He's the founder of MB Hotels, an internationally recognized hotel media and publishing company. Mr. Arif was also a judge in the Maldives Travel Awards 2015 and has unique eye for the industry. Dr. Hussein Sani Umar Sani is a young, energetic individual who has completed his bachelor's in business management from Sunderland, UK, master's in business administration MBA at Ballarat, Australia, and a doctorate in business administration DBA from City University College of Science and Technology, Malaysia. His DBA thesis was on the development of Islamic tourism in the Maldives and he has undertaken various experiences and overcome a lot of challenges throughout his career in diverse fields. He was the first Maldivian to speak at the first Halal Tourism Conference of Europe held in Spain 2014 and one of the judges for the Matato Travel Awards 2015. He is an expert in business development operations which includes seeking new clients, finding new opportunities and managing client relations. Mr. Ibrahim Nasreen. Mr. Ibrahim Nasreen is a reputed individual in the industry with his previous employment roles as well as his educational background. He is currently the Director of E-Commerce and Marketing at the Public Service Media Organization. He also works as a part-time lecturer at the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Studies. Mr. Nasreen has previously worked in reputable companies such as Think Associates and had his thesis based on developing the Maldivian tourism sector and promoting the country as a destination, titled as the development of innovative service experiences to maintain the Maldives, position as a luxury tourist destination. Mr. Nasreen is a committed individual who will bring a whole new and fresh perspective into the Maldives Travel Awards 2016. Mr. Ibrahim Asim, IB. Mr. Ibrahim Asim has been serving the Maldivian government since 1993. In his long public service career, he has spent over 22 years in the tourism industry, serving in senior roles at the Ministry of Tourism, Maldives Tourism Promotion, and MMPRC. During his long career, Mr. Asim has earned respect among industry colleagues and is well known among tourism and travel industry leaders locally and internationally. Mr. Asim has served in important roles such as leading the Maldives Government Tourist Information Office in Germany. He has also been instrumental in implementing a wide range of projects, events and technical activities with UNWTO on behalf of Maldives Government. Before we conclude the Maldives Travel Awards countdown show for this evening, we would like to show the natural bit of Bandos Maldives, the official conference host for the Maldives Travel Awards 2016. Well, the Bandos Maldives, their staff, they grow orchids here, as you see, I await here. And on the other side, they also have fruits grown like melon through the hydroponics method over here. And they do bottled water here in Bandos for their tourists and of course the people who come here. Well. Before I leave, I would like to remind you of November 19th and 20th, the Maldives Travel Awards Conference on 19th and of course 20th, we all await for the gala evening. And I'm sure the nominees are waiting and looking forward for this evening as well. So have a very good evening and see you next week. Mm -hmm.